guys and welcome back to my channel so i thought every month i would introduce you guys to some really affordable makeup which is of good quality and you can find some different range so in today's beauty on a budget video i'm going to show you some new products that i've tried and i'm going to give you mini reviews on it so let's start with the first product this is the mars highlight and contour pro palette and um, Wait, let me just see if the price is given. Everything is under 500 rupees. I will leave the price and the links to the products in the description box. First of all, I am really glad that these companies are stepping up their game because I remember when I was a teen, the makeup that we had, the affordable range especially, was so shitty. The quality used to be so bad and it, it was just not nice. And now you girls have such you know like so many different options and you can try out all these different products so this is the highlight and contour shade now i haven't really tried it tried this particular one because i want to try it on camera with you guys so i have nothing on my face i have no foundation nothing so i'm going to try out this particular blush it has a light sheen in it quite pigmented ooh, 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 it's too pigmented oh i should have actually um powdered my face because i have just moisturizer on but as you can see it's quite pigmented I actually really like the shade it looks very nice and it has slight sheen in it so if you are not a highlighter kind of a person then this will like really look nice on you I think I'm also going to use this almost banana kind of a shade and just like highlight under my eyes and see how it does As you can see, I had nothing on my face but just the blush and the powder highlighted my under eyes so well and it looks very natural and real. I absolutely love this and this is very very affordable and they also have some contour shades. So I think this particular palette will be more than enough if you are a beginner and you want to try out something new and you haven't... Uh, you know ever tried out contouring and blush and all of that then i think you should go for this palette because the quality of this product is really good plus the powders are so finely milled that it looks almost completely natural here natural in real life and as you can see on camera how well it has highlighted my eyes and my chin and my forehead even though i had no foundation and no concealer on moving on to the next product that i have this is from Mars and it's a highlighter palette now again you know like during my time we did not have all these highlighter uh, palettes and all these other things and it's really amazing that you guys get to try this and this particular highlighter palette has so many different highlighters for different kind of skin tones like even if you're like extremely fair with a pink undertone like this will look really nice on you so I'm just going to try this out and let you guys know how this does i hate the fact that i'm never able to open packaging it's a problem i use a fan brush and i'm going to go in with this champagne uh, gold shade and i'm just going to highlight my cheekbones
as you can see that this highlighter is not very strong and i like highlighters like that because i'm not a very highlighted cheek kind of a person uh, so i like products that are buildable and this is exactly buildable but if you do have textured skin then this is going to emphasize it so keep that in mind but otherwise overall it's a very good product and you can really build it up and i liked the kind of uh, highlight it has given me it's not too much and it's just the right amount of highlight and if you can see they have like really nice shades so this particular highlight palette i think will suit a lot of uh, shades like really fair people can use this and you know if you're on the duskier side you can use this and it has different options you can also use this as a blush if you're really fair so i think it's a very good product and um, you should definitely try it out if you're a beginner or if you're on a budget and you want something of really good quality i have a highlighter i mean I, eyeshadow palette and this is from half and half it is velvet mousse eyeshadow pa palette this particular product i have tried before because i was very very um confused and very um curious about the the texture of this particular product it almost feels like the eyeshadows are wet it feels like the eyeshadows are wet but it is almost like a powder and the color payoff or the glitter uh, consistency is really strong so you have to be careful now the only thing about this product is if you have extremely oily eyelids then this can be a problem especially the silver one here it's just crazy the silver one is so wet and moussey it's just like crazy so if you do have like wet eyelids then it can be a problem but otherwise the shades are amazing you can use this for a wedding you can use this if you are doing someone else's makeup and you want something that is really strong when it comes to the glitter aspect of it then this is your product let me just show you the last shade and yeah as you can see it's just amazing like the glitter is there i'm not a very glitter a uh, glittery eyeshadow kind of a person but i know a lot of people who love glitter on their eyes and if you are that kind of a person then this is your product and you can definitely try this out next i have two eyeliners this is from simera waterproof ice matte eyeliner i've always loved matte eyeliners when compared to the glossy ones or the glittery ones because i feel like it looks for me personally it's my choice and it looks good on your eyelids especially if you are someone who suffers with oily eyelids then matte eyeliner is the best option for you this again is extremely pigmented as you can see it's extremely pigmented and i really like it and i'm going to try out one shade for you guys i think i'm going to go with the blue one because i like uh, blue eye eyeliners on indian skin tone i think it looks really really pretty Putting on eyeliners has become such a task for me because I hardly wear any eyeliner nowadays. I just like having plain simple eyes, but I really like this. Of course, the camera is not picking up the shade, but in real it's a nice vibrant uh, royal blue and it looks very very pretty. Like I said, I like blue on the eyes for Indian skin tone. I feel like it looks really really pretty. So, yeah, this was my next product. Next, I have this rock glitz liquid liner now this is in the pen form so if you are a beginner then this is amazing this is a nice golden shade as you can see it is quite pigmented and again this is another blue but again like i said i'm not a very glittery person on the eyes so i'm not going to use this much but if you are wow this is such a beautiful color as you can see but if you are then uh you should definitely try this out because these are so 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 pigmented like they are not patchy at all they are really pigmented in fact i just want to like apply this maybe at the ends of my eyes just to add a little bit of oh wow it's a completely different blue 
just thicken my eyeliner a little and as you can see it has a beautiful it's not chunky it's not chunky glitter it's very very nice and shiny and i think if you are someone who goes out for parties and you like doing those things this will be so perfect in fact i'm kind of liking it though i'm not like a glitter on the eyelid kind of a person but i'm kind of liking this look it looks very very pretty next i have a makeup fixing spray this is from meon it is mist and fix i've tried this product too and i absolutely love it it is very very um moisturizing it is not extremely glowy it is it won't make you look oily so people with oily skin can also use this but the only thing is the spray is not that great but otherwise it's a very nice uh makeup fixer and it makes your uh, makeup last plus it's very moisturizing and it gives you a nice sheen i'm just going to fix my powder with this As you can see it gives your face a very nice subtle glow overall glow and it makes your um, powders really melt into your skin I feel like for the price they've done a good job with the product um, it has a mild fragrance so if you are someone who doesn't like uh, products that have a fragrance then this is amazing for you because it has mild fragrance that will just go away within few seconds and yeah so as you can see i really like this makeup spray and i've used this two three times already um when you know on days when i feel like my skin is really oily i do powder it a little but because i'm so much into glowy skin and i love my serums so it's important for me to set it and make the powders like almost look skin like lastly i have blue heaven lipsticks if you follow me from some time now you know that i love blue heaven lipsticks they their lipsticks are of good quality uh the color payoff is really good these particular uh, lipsticks are matte lipsticks and they do not feel heavy or drying on your lips at all in fact right now i'm wearing the shade uh where's that i'm wearing the shade 710 romantic rose now I have six shades to give you guys hand swatches. The first shade is Orange Passion. Twist it and you can see the color payoff is so amazing. It is really, no wait, this was a very bad swatch. You see the color payoff is actually really good, especially on the lips. I just used an oil-based um, makeup remover so that's why it's just like sliding off the next shade is retro style this is the shade i don't know i keep trying to twist it on top the twister is at the bottom and it's a very nice almost pinkish red kind of shade i really like shades like these uh that are almost red but not exactly red this is the next shade called truffle brown and it's a very nice brick red almost looks like a dark brown but it is not it's a very brick red the next shade is what i'm wearing on my lips right now romantic rose this is the next shade it's called the tomato red and i absolutely love it and the last shade is pretty purple it's a straight up purple shade it's a straight up purple shade and i really like it if you followed me you also know that i like wearing purple on my lips and yeah that's it so that's all for today's video guys i'll make sure to bring out at least one video like this every month so that you guys can get introduced to a lot of affordable makeup which have really good quality because it's amazing how all these companies are really you know coming uh, out and like really stepping up their game when it comes to the quality and the pricing so if you want to try out any of these products i will leave all the links in the description box you can buy it from there you can check it out and i will meet you guys in my next video until then bye